Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift that you truly need it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated uh, and anybody who's coming to distract distort you know block things you know feeling like you can do something please just to let you know as always because i always feel y'all trying to do this everything is divinely guided heavily blessed and, and, and extremely loved so there's nothing that you can't do that is already going to be placed on you 20 million times fold um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's folks be trying to cast spells on warriors and not realizing we're the whole flex of a, of a potion. I got this from this. It was a song that Doja Cat came out called Rules. And I was like, God kept hearing it. I was like, oh my God, I don't listen to Doja Cat. But it was like, I was like, when I heard that, it's like people be trying to cast spells and don't know you're a flex of a whole potion. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and use that. You know, be different things that comes into your life that you really don't know that you're you're divinely guided by things that really make you uh, really make you know you're one of your own. You know, a lot of times we don't realize how powerful we are until we go through something that's very traumatic, very dramatic, uh, very traumatizing or something. And it triggers off something into you It's lifting a veil. You know, anytime we're going through uh, Kundalini uh, ascension, especially dark night of soul, Jesus, Lord, have mercy, give us strength as well as uh spiritual awakenings you go through these things and it, and it triggers something inside and people you know I've, I've seen different spells that people have placed on me and it, it was just like you know you can constantly hear you know why are these things not working you know people are trying to be shocked like how does this person make it so far and you're not realizing you're the antidote you're the potion you know you're the whole spell within that you know you're a whole walking whatever it is <laughs> whatever it is you are that and it, it's just like you don't realize your power until these things are always the, you know they're tucked away and hidden until it's needing for you to know who you truly are and for that to happen you have to walk in your power you have to be you know you know strongly moving in your truth you know there's a lot of times we, we may be in that vibration of worrying about judgment or caring about what other people say and think about of are they going to be supporting us are they neglecting us are they going to believe us are they going to love us are they going to hate us but it's at that point in time where you're moving you're moving fearlessly and that's how you have to move you know you're going to go through things where you're going to have to make very 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 uh tough uh tough decisions you know and a lot of us are going through that thing where you're you're coming to a crossroad you know you're really coming to a crossroad so where you have to understand am i going to be living for self living for love living for growth within self or i'm going to be living for people you know, worrying about how you see me, worrying about how you, you perceive me, if you believe me or not, are you going to be there to support me like I support you? And it's at that point, you know, Universal will sit up here and show you people's true intentions when, when you're lacking of something or you're not understanding of something. You know, they'll bring people into your life that's going to nourish you. We're, we're connecting with everybody that we needed to go to that next level towards growth. Whether it's somebody who lies to us, place us in deception, hurt us to the core, you know, d abuse us. All these different things we're needing to create something more of ourselves. And this is at that, that point. Like, you are true power. You know, and it'll be just different things. It's like when I'm saying that I'm hearing a song by Beyonce, you can't break my soul, you know, or cuff. You know, you can't you can't mess with me in that way that you are hoping to. You know, even if it comes to me in that point that hurts me, it's helping me in some kind of way to recognize what I needed to learn within myself. You know, anything we're going through, anything that comes in initial contact that really shakes us to the core, is you, you realize you're that actual antidote, you're that actual potion, you're a whole flex of a transformation that cannot be trife. You know, you can't mess with that. And these are the different things that you're finding out through that initial vibration of change that you truly need it. And it's just like... You know, people try to understand how you make it this far or, you know, dag, this person is really strong. You know, I really commend them. You know, I love the fact is that, you know, I, I could share stuff with y'all 
and it reminds you of something that you may go through and you may need that that challenge like you know what I'm going through is very hard many people don't understand what I'm going through or you know you could really be going through some very conflicting things at home and then when you step out into the world you have this big smile on your face you're joking and stuff like that and don't even people a half the time people don't even realize you're breaking inside and that takes a lot of strength and it's not for you to be faking the funk or nothing like that but you're trying to be at that type of vibration it's like no matter what I'm going through I'm not going to allow it to break me you know I'm trying my best to be able to you know move through strength even when I'm going through moments of constant weakness and that's okay you know that is okay not everybody has a positive day you know, a lot of times people feel like it's a weakness to cry or show intense emotions. You know, I'll be on here and I'll be feeling heavy and or it could be something I'm really going through or it, it could be some energy that I feel like is coming through. You know, even before I upload the video, even before I post it, I feel the energy that is going to connect with and I can really see the different things that they're going through. And I know it's not easy. And all of a sudden I just start crying. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, y'all. And y'all see my face go red and stuff like that. It's not easy to post on here. Some people are like, oh, you can do this, you can do that. But if, you, if you've never done stuff like this, you can't tell somebody it's easy because it takes a lot of, of strength. And I tell people, you, I had to create a very um, uh, tough skin. You know, I had to deal with negativity. I've had racist things said to me. I've had dumb things to me said to me. I've had, you know, videos uh, that were, uh, uh, you know, t taken down. And it could be about the most positive things. And it was triggering people that didn't want me to heal. There was triggering people that didn't want me to win. There was triggering people that didn't want me to overcome something. And that has not stopped me. Because I had to be at that point into my life. If there's people that's coming at me the way they're coming at me. Where they want to be able to unload doubt. Or you, you know, you, you'll say something. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to unsubscribe. Obviously, you did care. Obviously, you wanted somebody's attention. Because anybody who just feels like, I mean, you know how many people I just felt like, you know what, you're doing more. You know, uh, you're doing something that's really irritating me. Or you're doing something that's very, you know, it's, it's against me and my growth. And I can't deal with that. I just unsubscribe and block. You know, if that's that what that person wants to continue and do, I don't have to deal with it. So I have to do that. But when I see people, oh, I don't care. Oh, nobody gives a, you know, saying stupid stuff like that. I know you care. It triggered you because the fact is you had to respond on that. And that lets me know I must have touched a nerve or it may be something you're dealing with or it be somebody I'm already knowing, you know, this knowing about my situation. And you had to put up a, a flake, uh, what did I say, a flake, a fake account just for you to say something to me because you ain't bold enough to say it real into my face, you know. So those are the different things that you, you go through that whirlwind of change. You know, and it'll be at that point where you're going to see the negative and the positive created power for you. You know, there'll be different things that people are going to come at you and place all kind of illusion spells. The people want to keep you an illusion. They want you to make sure that, you know, you don't have what it takes. They want you to be confused, even though they're sitting up here. You know, people are not going to tell you the truth. And it, it'll, it'll be a different post that comes up. Um, that will remind me of different things. It's like, why do people got to lie? And it's just like, they're, they're not telling, a, they're not going to tell you the truth because it's going to hurt your feelings. But when it's, when it's, uh, conflicting against their interest of the need of you, they're going to keep playing. Oh, you're misunderstanding. Or that's not what that is. When your gut and your intuitive and your intuition is telling you this person is a fake, this person is, is heavily flawed to that per point where they don't want to see you grow. You know, everybody's flawed, but it'll be that person that feel like they're not flawed. They're, they're not imperfect, you know. They're perfect any kind of way because they don't want to say that they're flawed. You know, those are the type of people I'm talking about. They'll place all these different confusions on you because it contradicts something that they don't want to come accustomed to touching. You know, like if you're in your truth, people are, are good on wanting to play victim. They want to play on the lies. They want to speak you know you know uh, heavy and hateful towards you and all those different things but it'll be at that point where you can't go about life always trying to correct every lie 
that there is because if you know you're living in your truth if those people are in their vibration of being at a high self-esteem and at a growing self-esteem not a low one because a low one oh you know they're going to create a gravy train of negativity towards your life so if you know there's a person that's like okay i've had different people where you know, they were like, oh, well, this person spoke negative of you. And I really am not seeing what they're seeing. But now I understand why they're speaking negative of you. Because you're speaking in your truth. That person is okay. That You know, that you're going to have different people that want to live a lie. And are comfortable with living a lie. And sometimes that lie is going to create something that's going to make you feel like the villain. It's okay. Play that villain. You know you are some kind of superhero on somebody's team. You're a superhero in somebody's story. And it would be that point where you know you are. You know, you can be the villain at times because sometimes you're going to take the villain when people tend to try to get over on you or people try to manipulate you. They try to trigger you. They try to do different things like that. It'll be at that point you can tell people how you really truly feel and be about your business because there'll be just different times where they tell you, you know, to really uh, choose your battles wisely. And that's at that point right now because there's a lot of people that are bringing heavy ass bones. Because they are getting triggered from the fact that you're growing, you're healing, and they don't like that. Anything that they place against you, they got a maze on their face. Like, how is this person? They're not admiring you. They're trying to, they really just shocked of how you, that all the traps that you done set up here, they don't place at your life. It is not, it, they end up falling in. People digging ditches for you and falling in their own grave for you. People are over here looking for, you know, the day that you get crucified for all the right doings that you're doing and not realizing they mis mistook that memo. They're going to be sitting right there in the front row seats seeing your blessing. Anybody that tore you down, God is about to bless you and put you back together right in front of their face. They don't like these different things that's taking place into your life. You are that whole flex. You're that whole mood of that potion that is, it is just powerful and is very potent. And you understand this is what you are made for. Because there are so you don't realize there's so many different things you have overcome. And there's a lot of times we try to understand how the heck am I gonna get through this? How am I gonna get through this? And it'll be just that inner voice to tell you you're gonna get through this, you're gonna overcome. You know, you are heavily protected, and you are loved. And a lot of times when you go through different things into your life, you know, people will make it seem like it's hard to love you. People will seem like, you know, something's wrong with you. That's the reason why people don't like you. They got to get people to not like you. Because you are loved in that way and they hate that. You know, I've got so many different people that are around me physically that, you know, they always want to prove a point. You can't be loved. There's always something wrong with you. And it's just like... I'm moving in positivity, but I know I'm not perfect. I have my negative moments. I have my moments where I was just straight cuss you out, you know, and it'll be at those moments, but I was being honest about my situation. You know, I'm going through a lot right now. A lot of people are going through a lot right now. There are some times you're going to mess up, but that mess up is going to prepare you for that come up. A lot of times you're going to have to have setbacks and failures, but that's creating success for you if you know you're not giving up. People want you to be able to give up on things that you strongly believe in. And that's the reason why they hate you so much. Because they want you, they want to place doubt into your life. They want you to make you feel that you cannot overcome certain things. You cannot heal from things like that. Your life can't get any better than what it's getting right now. Because you're living in that nightmare. Because they created that nightmare for you. Now I tell you, just like it was the other day, I was laughing. Because you don't realize your enemies have faith in you. That's the reason why they try so hard for you to doubt yourself because they know you have what it takes to overcome something. They're terrified on even approaching. You do. You really do. That's the reason why they put, that's why I always tell people, if you know you're on a good path, you're going to have different people or they're going to ruffle your feather, feathers because you strongly ruffle in theirs. And even though you don't even know these people, I'll say, you know how many people that have, that don't like me and I don't even know you. I don't care. You know, if this is that, that insight that you need to be able to help you, as long as that help you, it don't matter. If you don't like me, breathe, I breathe in and breathe out. I'm going to still be doing more stuff that's going to really make you hate me. And that's fine. That's not going to stop me from doing what I got to do. I'm still going to become better. I'm still going to become wiser. And I'm damn sure going to become stronger. You know, and I appreciate all the different things that I do because it's really helping a lot of people that actually want to hear my content, that admire the strength that I have. Because it's like when I'm telling people when you, you can doubt yourself, you know, it's very scary to move in different ways that you're not used to. 
You know, you've been moving at a frequency for so long. For so, so, so long. And then it'll be a different time when you finally switch up saying, you know what, I want life to be better. You know, I'm tired of worrying about what other people think. I'm tired of being bothered by, by other people think. You know, I'm being that nice person that constantly give love and very rarely give it back, get it back. You know, I want to be different. I want to be able to live life better because I can't continue in this way. And you don't realize those are the exact experiences going to help you get to that next level because you had to go through those different things. It's not saying, you know, you need to stop being loving because this world will make you become bitter. It will make you become evil. It will make you become to that person where you will block everything that was sent to be a blessing to you just because you have been hurt so many numerous of times because you had a kind heart. You had to just be able to discern, you know, be able to put people in their right category. Is this a, a, a season or is this an expectation or is this something that you already know is a total setback and a heavy fail? You have to be able to do that because you go through those different things that shows you the red flags of toxic people. Dealing with, you know, knowing you're dealing with somebody who's a sadist, a masochist, a manipulator, toxic people, uh, narcissists, uh, sociopaths, psychopaths. You had to be able to go through that. Being comfortable with not collecting red flags. When you see that first red flag, when somebody shows you who they truly are, believe them and you act on uh, accordingly towards yourself. You set heavy boundaries. Anybody that is uh that understands you everybody has a boundary they're not going to want to deal with this they don't want to talk about that they're not going to move to do this they don't want to do that they're going to do this you know i don't feel comfortable with that you're going to respect that because you want that person to respect your boundaries but anybody who gets mad about you being in boundaries and you you keep that wall up is people that want to because they get mad because they can't find a way to manipulate you in some kind of way they want you to be able to down your guard you know so they can be able to be empowered by taking power from you you know you 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 are a plug for beautiful energy that's why a lot of times you can get around people that give you a headache or you can be a very strong willed person they'll make you stumble on your words because it's telling you you don't need to be talking to people like that this person is comfortable with misunderstanding you this person is comfortably you know they want to be constantly doing all they possibly can to trigger you they want to do things to make you be in confusion like you don't you is everything that they're doing is a misunderstanding you know they want you to be able to see that you're wrong and they're right you know those are different things that's telling you trust your intuitive go with your gut understand is words energy and actions aligning to what people are projecting towards you you know because it's like actions and words can really you know that whole flex is an energy you know your spirit your spirit and your intuitive is a silent snitch You're like hey don't mess with that person it'll be something that you'll be even a person who'll call you it'll be something where it's telling you not to answer that phone or it'll be different times right now where they're telling you heavily this is your isolation time this is that time to focus on self you know you have been giving to other people but now it's like you're at that level where you need to really understand yourself on a deeper level because there are so many different people who are sending harsh harsh vibrations your way, sending evil eyes your way, wishing death upon your life, on your path. Don't want you to be able to become nothing than what they're, they're being able to control. You even dealing with people that are trying to be you. You know, you may feel, you know, I'll be having, finding out different content and people, different things that people are using what I say and they're trying to project, project it of theirs. They're so triggered by me. They'll sit up here and give live readings about me trying to be fake and just saying I'm being fake about what I do. And I'm like, how the heck can you fake an experience like that? You know, if you're an empath and you can tell between, between the difference of BS and truth. You know, you are triggered by something that that person can be able to move through the daggone chaos they were placed in. They're creating peace and clarity through confusion and chaos. I have to deal with a lot of stuff like that. I even have different things where people are getting readings on me just because you may know, you know, oh, what's that north node or what's that house, that 11th house, that 5th house. You know, what's this, you know, your sunshine sign or your moon sign. These are different things. If people know... Number one, that's regardless if you know those different things, you know, collective, the collective and the massive and as well as the universe, they already know what kind of tr things you're pulling. They're only going to let you know what they want you to know. And they can sit, you, sit up here and put you through a whole loop 
and you think you're doing something and you only they're like oh okay well i'm gonna send protection that way because that person is trying to find out all these different things on this person so they can be able to stop or being able to be ahead of the game and block whatever is coming that person's way and you don't even realize you placing something on your life you can't do something to somebody else's life and think you stopping it and you can create something for you God don't bless stuff that way and if it does it's gonna be a life lesson for you and a life lesson for that one that person's still gonna have a come up you ain't really doing nothing except speeding up the process I always tell people you don't realize your enemies and your enemies that they slow like that because I'll say this a lot of time I got a lot of enemies anytime you send in something to hurt me or you're trying to block me do you know you're speeding up the process of my blessings do you realize that I tell people that all the time you're helping me do that so it's whatever is still bothersome to me whatever is still triggering to me or whatever is a weak spot is giving me those cheat sheets like hey this is what you need to heal. This is that person that brought that. And so so if they do do it and you recognize what they're doing and you're not phased by it, that person already lets you, oh, that person's bitter or that oh, person's projecting or that person's moving through fear. That person's moving through ego. Okay, that person's using comparison to your journey to theirs. Okay, or you just not even allow, oh, that person's just all on a level I'm not even knowing. You're this is what you needed into your life because if you have been that person that worry about what people say you're trying to be a people pleaser or you want everybody to support you you want everybody to um, believe you and love you and stuff like that I had to be able to be that person there's just some people that are just not gonna like me and I have to be okay with that there are gonna be certain people that are just not gonna believe me and I don't have to be okay with that people anybody that know they, they fear the fact of me bringing extra receipts to anything they, they want to contradict is a lie to me and I shut it down each and every time I tell people anytime if I feel like I have to lie about that I'm just not going to mention it I don't have time to be wanting to go back and do I see too many reality shows and I see a lot of things on YouTube where somebody will say something and then it will be contradicted by they go back and say something it's like hey because you got people that are really watching you and waiting for you to fail hey when you said this on the last video and it could be something about two three years ago and that's how anal some people can be you said this and this and that oh you didn't and they'll tell you hey time stamp this video and this and put the whole link down there just to catch you in a lie i don't i don't have time for all that so if i feel like if i'm telling something trust and believe i got receipts to pull out the stuff that i got you know so i ain't worried about it i'm like okay you want to challenge me okay I'll, I'll bring out that receipt do you really want me to go ahead and embarrass you like that you know i'm that whole mood of going ahead and reflect something you can talk but my talks got receipts to go right behind it just to be able to prove the facts is this is what you did this is what you didn't do this is what you're saying i'm lying out you know even with my situation where people say my dad wasn't my dad hell i pulled ancestry up hell my genetics i look split an image of my damn daddy I, I was like i ain't even worried about those different things because this is what brought me on my path to be able to help me find myself was well, helping other people do the same for them so you can go ahead and keep moving there's different things that's coming towards your way that's going to really shake you up but these these are the different things that's going to help you get on on your path to where you need to be and these are the things that's going to really make you just something that's going to be fierce and very vicious so you keep going anything that comes into contact with you that was sent to destroy you is going to be your deliverance to be able to go on that next level that people aren't even expecting so appreciate your haters because they're your your greatest motivators much love to you peace